to a new episode of AUC Today. AUC student clubs play a major role in both developing students' personal skills as well as getting them involved in different areas of community service. After the closure of the campus due to coronavirus, all events and activities have been cancelled or suspended until a further notice. To know more about some clubs' events and activities that they are planning to do for this tough time, we have Yusuf Demirdaj, the president of the Astronomy Club, Salma Hashem, the president of the Revival Club, and Minna Suleiman, the president of Volunteers in Action. Let's start with Minna. What are the activities you are offering during this tough situation? Okay, uh, so in Volunteers in Action, we're currently working on two projects for Ramadan, which are Ramadan packs and Iftar to go meals. Uh, we, we work on, th on those two projects every year, but due to the, the, the current situation and the, the tough times we're facing, uh, things are a bit different. So for Ramadan packs, this year we, we got the, the packs ready made. We canceled the packing event in order not to risk uh, um, the health of any of our uh, volunteers. Uh, and we're delivering iftar to go meals to often just like we do uh, every year uh, during Ramadan. Mainly what we're focusing on right now until we figure out what we're going to do later, we're focusing on raising awareness about uh, in revival, we target uh, homeless people and saving homeless people. So we're raising awareness on, on that, that although you are in quarantine and you live under a roof and you have food, remember that uh, a lot of people don't have that. So make sure that you can do yani, whatever you can. Uh, we only have one event that we are planning that is uh, going to be held online with uh, collaboration with uh, Dubai Astronomy Club. Uh, it will be about uh, solar uh, online streaming for solar eclipse that, was, uh, that uh, is going to happen uh, soon. Challenges to me as our events are mainly, as I just said, uh, we need to use certain uh, setup in each of our uh, events that requires uh, certain telescopes or people uh, gather to, uh, to stargaze or uh, see a specific astronomical event. Do you have any challenges, Manna? Uh, yes, as I mentioned, um, uh, we, we usually hold the, the packing event every year and uh, it's really different. and difficult for us to not hold the event this year and just get the packs uh, ready-made but our priority was to help the people that uh, we, we, we are used to help and that people need uh, help this year more than ever so we, we prioritized that and cancelled the packing event um, um, that's that's mainly one of the challenges uh, also the people are not the volunteers are, are involved in a different way this year um, they are involved in terms of contacting the suppliers in terms of uh, uh, organizing how would the facts uh, uh, reach uh, the people in need but they're not involved uh, like they used to be before in terms of uh, packing, making the packs uh, and preparing the, uh, the packs themselves, which uh, used to be very different in terms of the spirit. For the Revival Club, yes, Alma, do you have any challenges? Yes, uh, we're facing many, many challenges because all our, 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 all our events or all our, our aspect in the club is, is on ground, so we either go down uh, the streets with, with, the, with the organization we're affiliated with, like, we go down the streets, try to help and save as many homeless people as we can, or we go to the shelters where the homeless people are and we try to, to, to educate them and give them, um, give them food and medical care and all of these things, um, which are also affiliated with organizations. So we're uh, unfortunately, all of these are at the moment they're on hold because we cannot risk our members going to the shelters, nor can we risk the people in the shelter. Uh, so, how do you encourage your participants to participate uh, in this situation or in these events like now? You always encourage them from day one that the fact that you're saving one 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 person's life is, you know, yani is the feeling of it is. Yeah. You cannot and you describe and you cannot describe it, but we keep on telling them to to have to to have that in mind. And even if you can't save them literally, you can go down the street and save them. 
you can you can you can send them money you can send them food you can you can do a lot of things we are working now on the the community and, and how we engage with each other to uh, so in this spring i just recruit uh, we did a recruitment for uh, a whole new uh, uh, board and whole new members because of uh, any of an events that happened so we have already new members and new hierarchy of uh, an astronomy club so uh, in this in this vacation or this these times we are trying to build the connections between uh, between each other and we, we build another type of connection between members and themselves. So when we can get back to work, we can just skip this time when uh, when we're already starting to know each other and starting to build a, a friendly connection so we can uh, start with a, an event. What we try to do is to keep contact with our people. We try to uh, call them every now and then to make sure that uh, uh, things are going well with them. We, we do ask about them. We ask if they need anything, if any of them lose their jobs, because as we know, a lot of people, especially uh, people who belong to the underprivileged class, uh, lose their jobs nowadays. So we try to, to keep contact with our people and to make sure that they don't need anything. And that if there's any sort of help that we can offer, we try to, to make that possible and to uh, uh, engage our members our members through that thank you all so much and wish you all the luck uh, with your projects and events and thanks for joining me thank, thank you very much